<clears throat> Hi guys, and welcome to the first installment of Trailer Decoder. Now, <clears throat> I'm making these videos to talk solely about trailers that, about, of movies that have not come out yet. I made this because I don't really have a platform for this kind of topic. And I'm really just doing this because of Terminator Genesis, and I want to talk about it, and I want you guys to talk to me about it. So we talk about it. Um, what's really cool about this installment is how much it follows... T2, which argumentally, well not argumentally, it is the best movie of the whole franchise. Yes it is. We got T2000, we got, I don't supposed to say man, fucking motorcycle, we got guns, we got <clears throat> badass in this, in this, and I think they really, they really know what the, what they're doing, you know. It looks like everybody's involved is making a movie to, for a storyline. Not so much the payout, you know? Like, Tomb Raider 3? Who fucking cared? Did you, is there anybody who watched that movie through? Didn't think so. Let's, catch, let's talk about things that really caught my eye. Um, first thing was uh, Tomb Raider. The, the fully metal form of him had gums and teeth. That's not happened before, to my recollection. Which is fucking scary. Which makes sense, you know? If he had an organic kind of skin and hair... He didn't have teeth and gums, even when this the whole thing was peeled back. Yeah, those things remain that. So that makes sense. And I'm not sure why it didn't happen before. And correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, the second thing was uh, T2000 in there. You know, as an Asian. Asians are cool. So I can't wait to see that. I want to see how it compares to the original T2000. Because that guy had a stone cold look and was nice when he needed to be. Thank you for your time. But when he got for business, his face just turned murder, and he was just beelining to his target. That was good. Anyway, yeah. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. There are three Terminators in this movie I saw. There was um, T2000, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll call him the. Uh, let's call him the Snow Leopard because he had gray hair. Snow Leopard, and the other one got sent back in time. It lasted maybe a minute. I've been waiting for you, Papa. So, Snow Leopard ended uh, the new leopard that showed up with a quick fucking hurry. And uh, that got me to kind of wonder the timeline of when Snow Leopard got sent back to. When did he arrive? And I think my answer came in when uh, there was a split frame where uh, he picks up a little girl, puts her over the shoulder, and she's looking over this shoulder while the other shoulder had a bazooka. That tells me that one was reprogrammed. Somebody, John Connor probably re reprogrammed Snow Leopard, sent him back then when she was a kid, and they'd just been fighting off assassins ever since she was a little girl. Which is great, you know? Because now he's... Now he will say things that, uh... Because it's a learning computer, right? Make it more efficient killer if he learns more about human race. He's gonna be snappy, hopefully. He's gonna be dark humor, I hope. He probably just won't be, uh... Stone quiet. I think we need that. It's gonna be somebody, who, something we haven't seen before. A flying Terminator. Well, not like me slap. Just I'm looking for subtle hints of a soul. You know, the yeah, observation. That's what I want. Um, third thing that I notice and I'm really excited about is uh, the gray hair. Henceforth, the name uh, Snow Leopard. <clears throat> now this puts me at a funny kind of quandary. Of course, his cyborg skeleton is surrounded by organic material or else he wouldn't be able to time travel. They said that. all Everything that needs to time travel has to have like a well, organic skin. You know, no bullets, no weapons. That's why he couldn't bring weapons to the back in the first time right here. Like lasers. Where did his skin get the energy to reproduce? You know? Because the skin has to heal itself, all the organs have to heal itself, and the hair has to grow. And I guess the argument could be made from it. It gets energy from the nuclear power cell that's inside his being. You know, energy is energy. Whether we process it for me or pizza, because I eat pizza. Or you get it from the nuclear battery. Nuclear power cell. Energy is energy. So that's good. Two that uh, actually aged. He has gray hair, and but he shouldn't have 
Well, maybe he does have lines. I don't know. By my reasoning, his hair should have got grayer. Fingernails need to be clipped, and but his skin doesn't have to read. Doesn't show any ages of signs of aging because it has that nuclear power cell. You know, and it could probably could replace itself every fucking seven years. So it'll be interesting to see his lines. So that's what I saw in uh, Terminator Genesis. All right, what do you guys think? Leave comments down below, and uh, I don't know. What trailer do you want me to code next? All right, Bitman, fun guys. That's you.